The Fox 44 Weather Forecast with Weather Rage Certified Meteorologist Emily Kay. All right, Emily, I was out and about today and it just felt a little cooler. There was some breeze. <laughs> it was breezy yeah. today. We saw the wind get all the way up to about 20 miles per hour here in Waco this afternoon. Did did make it feel a little better. Unfortunately, that feel like temperature is still hitting 105. But hey, you know what? 105, 106. It feels a little different. <laughs> hey, we'll get what we can take. <laughs> we'll take what we can get. Yeah. Yeah, definitely for the rest of, for the rest of the week, it's going to feel the exact same. And guess what? That heat advisory that's been extended, uh, just like I was talking about last night. So tomorrow, start of your work week going to be pretty hot feeling like 105 degrees to 110 degrees for your Monday that does expire Monday evening and that is for most of central Texas no rain either if you take a look across most of the area again dry throughout the rest of the night tonight and into tomorrow the rest of the week being pretty dry as well temperatures right now on the warmer side only down into the lower 90s and upper 80s across most of the area Waco 92 right now Hearn 89 and again a hot night feeling more like the mid 90s and into the triple digits still Hearn feeling like 100 degrees, College Station feeling like 101, and Waco feeling like 94 degrees. So hot out there, hot tomorrow. It's actually going to be just a little hotter tomorrow. So if we take a look at that future cast for the rest of the night tonight, temperatures dropping down into the mid 80s, and you can see that mostly clear sky as we go throughout the rest of your evening. Waking up to those temperatures in the mid 70s by Monday morning, a few clouds here and there, but overall mostly sunny. And as we go into the afternoon, guess what? Temperatures getting right back into the 90s by noon, clouds clearing out completely, and those temperatures reach the triple digits once again by Monday afternoon. Make sure to limit your time outdoors and drink plenty of water because again it is going to be a very hot day. Dropping down into the 80s by Monday evening once again waking up to those temperatures in the mid 70s by Tuesday morning and we're doing it all over again on Tuesday. Temperatures just slightly cooler that high reaching 100 degrees instead of 101 degrees here in Waco. Again as we get into the afternoon most of us reaching those uh, triple digits. No rain in our forecast over the next several days so dry and hot overnight tonight temperatures dropping down into the upper 70s very warm tomorrow highs once again reaching 101 degrees mostly sunny and hot with that feel like temperature reaching 105 degrees to 110 degrees so again hot tomorrow so if you are taking the dog out for a walk noelle take a look at that this is bruno going to step out of the picture for you here for just a second again bruno if he wants to frolic through the flowers tomorrow might want to do it early in the morning because those temperatures starting off in the 80s warming up very quickly by the afternoon into the triple digits, feeling like the triple digits by noon. So a hot day. If it's too hot for you, it's too hot for your dog. And if you want to send in a picture of your dog, make sure to email us one with its name and a short description. The description is more for me because I love dogs. News at KWKT.com. That would be awesome. You can see your dog on TV. And again, for the next seven days, those temperatures reaching the triple digits. So a hot day. And it's going to be hot for the next several days, dropping down into the 90s on Thursday. 20% uh, chance of rain on Friday. Some clouds starting to build in, but overall, most of us not seeing that rain. Those will be very scattered showers. But if you do, hey, you might cool you off. So let's hope for some rain by the end of the week. For College Station or Bryan College Station, that seven-day forecast looking kind of similar. Mostly sunny skies going throughout the next seven days and those temperatures in the upper 90s feeling like 107 degrees tomorrow. So another hot day in College or Bryan College Station as well. It's going to be a hot week. Those lows only reaching the upper 70s. We'll have more of that coming up in just a bit.